Hello. Today we are going to learn how to write a one-page resume. Let's get started. When you want to apply for a job, you might be asked to bring along a resume or to email a resume. It is a summary of you for the workplace. The person looking to hire you is a busy person. Just create a one-page resume. Even if you do email a resume, go ahead and print one out and take that hard copy resume to the interview in a nice looking folder. What you write about yourself must always be the truth. Let's look at the resume for Anna Lee. Anna Lee used good size print for her name. That's fine. But look at her email address. It is not fine. Anna Lee needs to use a business-like email address. On her street name, Elm Street, she should have capitalized the S in street. She misspelled Phoenix. The rest looks okay. Now look at the date, January. This is an old resume. Don't put any date on it. Do not put if you're married or single, if you have children, if you don't have children. Do not put your age. Do not put anything about religion or about political party. Registered independent shows political party. None of this should go into a resume. Do not put the middle school. She should not have done that. Only put the high school from which you graduated. Do not put the year. If you went to three different high schools, don't put three different high schools because the boss will think you will be changing jobs often also. Look how work experience is not lined up under education. It looks messy. The words work experience should be pushed over all the way to the left. Don't say I did lots of things there at Burger King. No, Anna Lee, don't do that. Take that part off. Just put Burger King there. This part is well done. The skills and the certificates. She only has one certificate. Let's see if Anna Lee cleans up certificates in her next resume. Anna Lee did a good job on listing her reference. She gave the person's name, the position at the workplace, the name of the workplace, and the phone number. Many, many people put under reference will make available upon request. Don't wait for someone to ask you to provide the name. Have confidence that they do want to check up on you to make sure you are a good worker. Provide that reference. All in all, Anna Lee's resume is a messy looking resume. If it looks messy to the person who's looking to hire Anna Lee, that person might think that Anna Lee is a messy worker, a messy person. But Anna Lee did a nice cleanup job. Look at her resume now. She has a business-like email address. She corrected the spelling of Phoenix. Everything is lined up neatly. All in all, Anna Lee has a nice looking resume. And now it's your turn to create one. Please create a resume that looks like Anna Lee's. As far as education, work experience, and skills, you may list what you expect to have within the next few years. Be very realistic. If you have questions, let me know. Bye-bye.